Good morning, I'm Stu. And I'm David. And this is The, the Bruise Brothers, Brothers Show. So we've got a lot of things happening. It's, it's busy in the world today. That's right. Uh, we're gonna be talking about uh, gay pride. Yeah, uh, yeah. Part of your, part of your protest. Is, is part of their They're theme changing. right now. They're, They're changing. changing. It's worldwide. It's, it's not just the United States, but it's, it's everywhere. Okay. Uh, I think we can call it the backlash of Trump in a good way. That's right. We're going to talk about Lots that. And visibility. also uh, uh, gun stuff. There's been kind of a, a it's been going on for a while now, the uh, shootings uh, from cops to African Americans, the conflicts. Police shootings. Uh, we police just shootings, had a, yeah. a recent one we'll talk about uh, with an off duty police officer getting shot by another cop. Uh, yeah. Who happened? The off-duty happens to be a black officer. So that's right. We'll see what happens with that. And then we've got oh. the excitement with uh, Facebook. Yes, they are buying content now. So Facebook is going into direct battle with Netflix and Amazon, and how they're going to do that. Mm -hmm. And speaking of Amazon, we're going to talk about them buying out Whole Foods. Exactly. And what is that going to mean for Amazon? What is it going to mean for Whole Foods? And what is it going to mean for you? And me, because I, I actually like Whole Foods. There you go. And, so, they, and I like Amazon. <laughs> so stay tuned for the show. So on our lifestyle portion today, we're going to talk about gay pride. Yep. Um, marches across the USA, uh, and it's a different environment. It's not just a big party now. It's uh, well, yeah. Before it was, it was to raise awareness, you know, and their pride. It was right. their their pride that hey, this is us. This is where we are, you know, and we're here. <laughs> we're going right. to show you. But now things have changed. They are. I, I think the political climate has changed. Obviously. Yeah. Um, We've made a lot of progress, mm -hmm. but right now under the current White House administration, mm -hmm. I think everyone feels like that's threatened. Yeah. Um, where there are times when the White House comes out with words of, we support the LGBTQ community, mm -hmm. their actions and, and rolling back some of the progress that we've made in legislation says a completely different thing. Yeah, I sometimes and, wonder what year they're living in. You know, it's like, let's roll back. Women, you're not allowed to vote anymore. I just, it's you know, I, it's interesting. I just heard an article, or a, 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 it didn't have to do with this, but it reminded me of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, the politician said that it's all the things that people say are bad about these things are true, but they're not the worst. He goes, yeah. the biggest thing is that you can't take away something that you've already given. The right that you've been given. If I'm giving you a right, mm -hmm. I can't later on as a government come back and go, I know I said that you could have this, but... <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. It seems like they're trying that. They though. are trying that. They're trying that with uh, the LGBTQ community, yeah. uh, with issues. healthcare issues, with uh, marijuana legislation. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of different things going on with that. But uh, I, I know that it's also um, moved into a worldwide movement, which is new. Not gay pride being a worldwide, mm -hmm. but the protest side of that mm -hmm. yeah. being worldwide where other countries are protesting our president. Our government, yeah. In the gay community. That's a very yes. specific line. It's not just, well, I mean, obviously there are people protesting from all the different communities, but that yeah. specific community mm -hmm. is seeing uh, a big uptick in them taking a stand and supporting the gay community here in the United States by having protests in Brazil and yeah. Colombia, and which is interesting too because uh, I don't know how much familiar you are with Latin cultures. A little bit, but mm -hmm. not too much. But that's At a rougher time for gay community. Yeah, yeah. Not always as accepting. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot old of school family. Well, thing. yeah, and that's not a thing that happens. I, that's also, uh, from what I understand. Uh, tough in Russia. Oh, yeah, you're not even allowed to be. Well, you you can get, be like beheaded or something. They, there. There's no such thing. Yeah. I yeah. mean, that's their stance on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People aren't gay here. Yeah. 
even though there are obviously. Exactly. So exactly. that's uh, that's a big backlash. Um, I haven't been able to go into any of the parades this year here. Have you? No. I have lots of friends that do it. I usually find out about these things as they're happening, <laughs> where I don't have time to plan for it. I'm not good Dave, at looking at my Dave social lives calendar. In a, <laughs> in, in a small cave in the uh, in the desert. I do. Uh, I'm, all, I'm usually on my computer and just doing stuff and not paying attention to. I don't watch the news and whatever you know. But I'm glad you found these articles. You know, I, you know I am. And I, I, issues. It's interesting how news has changed and how we get our information has changed. Yeah. You know, obviously. Uh, Newspaper used to be a big thing. Yeah. And my wife always hated it. I remember we kind of felt falling that, that timeline cruxed. Mm -hmm. And I like would like to read the newspaper in the morning and bring it to the table. And she just hated it. Yeah. Because she's like, I don't want to talk to the newspaper. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, that's cool. So I wouldn't do it. But so now, instead, we're all on our phones. But now we're all on our phones. Our but what I do community. like is that, like, okay, yes, I like to get tidbits of information from social media. Yeah. But like the news feeds that you can get now where you can program in. I want to hear about gay pride. I mm -hmm. want to hear about uh, these specific news sources. Political Boom, line right. them all up so that I can have one place I go mm -hmm. and not have to go to the New York Times site and the LA Times mm -hmm. site, but just go to one, click on it. Boom, you can scroll down and, and you get your headlines. You can't believe what's on there anyways, or it might be pretty one-sided with the news. So I always take the news with a grain of salt. But I do too. There <laughs> are there are certain sources Research. <laughs> and, and that I, I feel like are more trusted and have a, have really yeah. strive to be in the middle, not pick a political spectrum, mm -hmm. but just mm -hmm. deliver the facts. BBC, uh, NPR, mm -hmm. uh, those two specifically for me, I feel like are really trying to ride the middle. To Here's the information. Mm -hmm. Do with it what you will. So, uh, how do you feel on? On this with the with the protest, I think I think it's good. I think well, hopefully it's going to raise awareness. Now I don't know if it's going to do any good. I'm a big fan of peaceful protest in general. Yes. Um, I have mixed feelings on, and I know a lot of people are going to not like this, <laughs> but sometimes you got to block a road. Yeah, see that I don't get. I don't I don't get the block road. You get ran now, over, that's you, your own damn fault. If you get see, and that's <laughs> I, I understand that, but sometimes. Uh, I mean, yes, you should get your permits and you should go down and have a path that, that people can be aware of and you can be protected yeah. and safe. Security. But I think every once in a while, you got to stop traffic. <laughs> but why? You what know, good is that? even if it's just briefly, you're just pissing people you off. You are making people mad, but for a moment, for a moment, it doesn't have to be an all night thing where you're disrupting yeah, or everybody. Or the freeway. Or the freeway. People I think that's. To get to work. I think that's a really. It's just a that's a that's a risk for everybody involved. Yeah. But if it's just a street and you know it happens to pour over because sometimes these things happen, just be patient, you know, and don't ec don't um, escalate it. Yeah. Well, I've seen that so many, how many times I've seen, seen videos people of just the, like, ran over. I'm tired of this. I'm just going to run you over. Yeah. Also not cool. So just yeah. be patient and let it roll by. Because if you're patient and everybody keeps it at this level of it's just a protest, mm -hmm. we're just trying to show you. That I got we an have idea. A Somebody should come up with an app that pinpoints the location of these street blocking so you don't even have to go down that way you can reroute yourself let them take over the isn't street that what, isn't that isn't, isn't that an app already isn't that google maps isn't it but uh, was that for protests it, no but it shows you where there's no like where there's stuff. traffic problems you That's know true. it has that red rerouting line. <laughs> that, you know? they could add that feature of you know, instead of they have the little accident icon exactly. that pops up, that if there's no a, accident, a, a it could be a little protester <laughs> with, a, with a sign. We, got some, we always had come up with good ideas as we sit here talking, huh? <laughs> we do. <laughs> and then we meander off into a topic that we didn't plan on. Exactly. But we're going to have uh, another topic coming up. So uh, this is our first experiment into splitting our show up into sections so that you can watch a section and then take a break, go get That's a right. donut and perhaps Drink a coffee, coffee from Bardona in Larchmont. Uh, That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll do a little promo with them next. Let's do that next. Okay. All right. We'll be back. So we are sitting here at our favorite coffee shop that's so nice to let us shoot here. And that is Bardona in Larchmont. Cold brew. Some of the best cold brew in the city of L.A. Mm. And some of the best food. They've got great food. If you're a food geek, I'm a food geek. That's Great place right. to go. If you're not a food geek, it's still really good food. <laughs> it is. Um, go back and look at some of our other shows. We highlight uh, several other dishes, and they are fantastic. They are. It, it really doesn't matter what you're doing. Uh, they've got stuff for if you're on a paleo diet and you're really trying to, to, to cut back. If you're trying for something lean, uh, they've got mm -hmm. a poke bowl. Uh, they've got a, a, a paleo bowl. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got 
You, they got meat too. They got meat. <laughs> they got, they, if you're not on a diet, the they've pastrami got some, hash thing they, they had the other day was awesome. They've got some amazing stuff. If you're not on a diet and you're just looking to put some good food in your mouth, they've got a series of grilled cheese sandwiches oh, that will yes. blow your socks That's off. That's what I had last week. Oh, uh, was it? Yes. And they, I mean, they use the breads, buttery and crusty Fantastic. and all that good stuff. So come on down and support this place, guys. If you're in the area, let them know that you saw us on the show. They're not gonna give you a discount or anything, but you know it helps. <laughs> you can come in. Let's let's track this a little bit and see what you do to help make them better. And just come in yeah. and say, hey, we heard about you on the Bruise Brothers show, and they'll tell us, and then uh, hopefully they won't kick us out. That's right. So stay tuned for the little commercial I made for them. I like it. All right. Stay tuned for our next segment, which is going to be... Top news stories of the week. Top news coming at you.